From the world of traditional Iranian cuisine, let's rank some of the most popular Persian foods, dishes, and recipes. اکثران به غذاهای ایرانی علاقه دارن. از خاور دور گرفته تا اروپا و خاور میانه و خاور نزدیک اکثران به کباب لغمه و کوبیده خیلی علاقه دارن. بر خیلی دوست دارن. آبگوش خیلی دوست دارن. و عاشق پلوهای ما هستن. Now this one is a favorite. It's called Dizi. And if you ever come to Iran, you should definitely not miss this one, particularly because of its peculiar way of eating. Dizi or abgush is a thick stew, probably the most internationally known Iranian dish. You need to separate the broth and the solid parts. The solid parts are mashed, while you need to break some bread into the broth to eat it. Iranians are masters of preparing rice, and what better food to have with it than a scrumptious kebab? This kebab is a kebab sunnati, which is a Iranian kebab. It is made in the middle of the kebab and the kebab is made in the kebab. Kebab kubide, or minced meat kebab, is the most well-known of the different varieties of Iranian kebabs. It is made from ground lamb or beef mixed with chopped onions. The kebab is grilled on skewers, traditionally over hot coal. Kebabs are generally considered a picnic food, and of course, it's usually the men who are in charge of preparing it. Now here's the most traditional of Iranian foods. Kalle pache, sheep's head and hoofs that Iranians usually have for breakfast. Decidedly an outray, this is what you would least expect to find on your plate. Kalle pache, usulan tu Iran, ham sopane istifade mishe, ham astane. Silab shirdun paga astane istifade mishe. Kullan kalle pache, kalle kalle pache khorde mishe. هم از زبان، بنابوش، مغز، چشم و پاچه. کله پاچه may not be a household name for those who occasionally try Iranian cuisine, but diehard foodies know that this tasty treat is essential for those visiting Iran on vacation. A restaurant that serves fresh bread is obviously preferable. بافرن یه ادویه ایرانیه که تو اکثر غذاها استفاده میشه توی شل زرد بیشتر استفاده میشه یعنی کلا چاشنیش زعفرونه شل زرد یه غذای سنتیه که اکثرا برای نظری پخته میشه شل زرد or the Iranian saffron pudding is a sweet dessert made of saffron, sugar and rice. It doesn't take much to make. Cook the rice until it's tender and then add saffron and butter. Then stir in sugar, rose water, and slivered pistachios and almonds. The next food I want to introduce to you is this popular Iranian stew called qayme. The reason that this food is so special is mostly because of the culture that it represents. It is usually cooked on the martyrdom anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's much revered grandson, Imam Hussein. Qaymeh Imam Hussein or Qaymeh Nazri is a staple of Iranian food culture. A typical example of classic Iranian cuisine at its finest used to uphold the ancient tradition of Nazri, which is distributing free food among people. This is very common during the month of Muharram and the day of Ashura. این قیمه ابی عبدالله و غذاهای حیعت ها و غذای دیگه فرق میکنه این غذا غذای دله شاید من الان بهتون بگم با همین وسایل و به هر جهت ملزومات قیمه ولی شما ببری خونه و درست کنین مزه رو نداشته باشه 
من نظیر رو فکر میکنم که دینی باشه از خودمون نسبت به علاقمون به آقامون نسبت به علاقمون به عمه But don't forget that the best Iranian food is found in an Iranian home. So I'm here to show you a typical Iranian kitchen. Iranian moms are professionals when it comes to quick snacks and side dishes. Kukusabzi is only an example. Kukusabzi is a very relaxing and very اما خب دیگه درست کردنش تقریبا یه روب در دقیقه بیشتر طول نمیکشه که درست کنیم کوکو is an egg based vegetarian dish made with whipped eggs folded in with different ingredients you can call it an open faced omelet but don't forget to turn it over and remember unlike the main dish کوکو doesn't take much time to prepare پس اینجون کلن یه قضای ایرانی خیلی خوبه Walnuts and pomegranate paste A quick look at the ingredients is all it takes to know why پس اینجون رو با چند روزه که شیرون دوست داره که ترش دوست داره که ملس دوست داره اصل پس اینجون هم با مرغابیه با گوشت مرغ هم درست میکنن من خب با گوشت قلقلی دوست دارم When Iranians are preparing fisinjun, it is usually for a great occasion, so they go the whole nine yards. While sautéing the meatballs, you will need to roast the ground walnuts in a separate pan. Then add the pomegranate paste, mix in the meatballs, and let the stew simmer over low heat until it's thick. Some foodies may not think of crisp rice taken from the bottom of a pot when they imagine traditional Iranian cuisine, but tahdik is definitely a delicious exception. This simple dish is made by placing bread, potatoes, or a mixture of eggs and saffron at the bottom of the pot before putting the rice in it to cook. Qurma sabzi is a very popular dish in Iran. It is actually even said to be Iran's national dish. You might be surprised to know that this food dates back 2,000 years. در آشپزی ایرانیا خانوما سبزی خیلی استفاده می کنند. مخصم برای آش، کوکو، سبزی پلو، خود سبزی قرمه، سبزی کفته، سبزی دلمه برای هر نوع قضاشون حتما این سبزی ها رو لازم دارن قضا خوشتم میشه، خوش عطر میشه کیفیتش بالا میره، خوش رنگ و لاب میشه Qurma sabzi translates from Farsi to herb stew in English, which comes from its main ingredient, a mixture of sautéed herbs, consisting mainly of parsley, leeks, green onions and coriander. Of course, this mixture has many variations. The mixture is cooked with kidney beans, lamb or beef and dried limes for its unique Persian sour flavor. تحتی که یکی از پر طرفدارترین و بهترین غذاییه که حالا غذا که نیست در کنار غذاست ولی بسیار پرطرفدار تو ایران و حتی ممکنه سرش دعوا بشه و تحتیگا خیلی مختلفه تحچین هم اصلا اصلش تحتیگشه که حتی تحتیگ تحچینی هم داریم خود تحچین ممکنه نباشه ولی تحتیگش رو استفاده میکنه Tahjin is actually a rice cake that is made of rice, yogurt, saffron, eggs and pieces of chicken. It can be cooked over the stove or in the oven, and when done, it is turned over onto a platter, forming what seems like a cake with a golden crispy crust.
And this brings us to the end of this week's show, Tahchin, Iranians' favorite dish. Gisumi Shahmadi for Iran.